Alright guys, so from the last video, I asked you guys to comment down below on your thoughts of what the vehicle might be that we did go ahead and purchase, of course, um, for our new daily. A BMW 325i, you are definitely correct. Alright guys, so I guess we'll go ahead and do a quick walk around. Um, as I did mention, it is a BMW 325i. Um, yeah, this is her. Haven't named her yet, but we'll definitely go ahead and give her the tradition of giving her a name like I've done all my cars, of course. Um, yeah. The other thing about her is she is automatic. Um, I was looking for standard, but again, I traded for the most of the guys I did mention before. And she's automatic. Um, I didn't want manual, of course, because that is the long, I guess, goal for the car. Maybe hint into the wink. We might be going to manual swap. We'll see what happens, of course. But um, again, I do want the car to be manual, but when we did a trade, we got it as automatic. Um, so, one thing, um, I'll show you guys a bit of the in car, inside of the car as well. It's a bit dirty. Um, of course, this video is made after owning the car for about a month or so. Now, I have owned it for a bit now. Of course, I've been daily driving it so far fixing things here and there and just um, make sure the car works because I do just kind of get around to work and school stuff like that so yeah here's the inside of the car but it is a bit messy actually it is really messy for my my family stuff as well as like just daily usage and but we'll get it clean for sure there's there's we're gonna get it clean I forgot promise so again guys it's like any other BMW interior there isn't much to show really and truly um because they're all they're all typically they're all typically the same um when it comes to the across the board of all BMWs um, but just a couple things, a couple, couple points to mention, essentially just of what is happening. So, um, when, again, when the guy did advertise it, he advertised the car at 223,000 kilometers, something pretty decently low. But as you can see, the car is at 297,000 kilometers. Another thing, there's a check engine light on. He, he did not mention that, of course. He just mentioned that all he needed was a boost and a flat tire. We're definitely gonna, gonna get that looked at. Um, as you can already see, there already is a um, aftermarket deck in here. Yeah, there will be a video on that coming soon. Already gone ahead before I plan on recording these videos, but get back into the vlogging thing again. So yeah, um, yeah. So there was that again. Engine lights. I'll show you guys outside again. I'll just go outside. Little minor things, as you guys can see, um, one fog light does not work, of course. Um, so that one works, that one doesn't. Um, another thing, and actually in this brake hub assembly, I wish I was recording, but I wasn't at the time. Um, it was actually, it was actually a bunch of like metal, metal pieces in there. I don't know exactly where it came from, but when the car was on the dead battery, I would go ahead and reverse it and the metal savings would actually get caught to the point where the car would actually shut off from just not being able to move and that was something that was, I thought was really weird. The simple way I fixed it was actually I ended up taking off the wheel, taking off the rotor itself and I was able to get behind it and pull out all the metal shavings that were in there. I have to go back and again and look at it and see what that could be but that was something that again I, that, you know it's just like I wish I knew that problem but yeah again I should have known better this is my seventh car I've been through many cars many car situations but it just happened and where it is make the best of it you know. Front wheels, as you can tell, are these seven spoke 16s. On the driver's side, on the passenger side, you can see that I'm running five spoke wheels. Again, so it came with the 17s, but due to them being so bald, I actually got two flats, I have to put my spares on, and I'm actually getting tires next week. The only thing with that is just, um, yeah, I'm getting them next week. Uh, they're just different coming, so yeah, that's where we're at. Other than that, guys, um, other than that guys, yeah, this this is the new daily. I'm excited. I haven't named her yet, of course. Um, so definitely if you guys have any names or ideas for a name, definitely comment that down below and let me know I should name the new car. Um, and again, I don't know if I'm gonna go like full show build, drift build, or drift spec show build. So I, I don't know what I'll have planned for this car, but I'm happy to be back again in the car scene modding. And it's just, it's just good, it's gonna be a fun journey. And the, the plans that I have for this car, um, sponsorships wise, and just parts alone and what's gonna be done with this car, are amazing like it's been a while so i'm ready to come back in full force and just get it done so again guys if you enjoyed the video if you subscribe give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends if you want and don't forget to comment down below again on the name we're looking to get for this car because i'm hopefully looking for to get a nice name for it, you know so again guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one